everyone. Thanks for tuning in. This is episode six of Keeping It Local. I'm Casey Jernigan with Delhoun Realty Group, and this is Kelly with Powerhouse Organizing, formerly uh, Organizing by Kelly and Co. Thank Hello. you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. So I want to talk a little bit about your business, you know, let people get to know the person behind the company. Yes. So uh, can you describe what you do on a daily basis for me? Yes, so Organizing by Kelly & Co, Powerhouse Organizing, is an organizing company, cluttering company, space planning, we do it all. We customize to the client to make sure that the client's mission is completed. So in any given space, if they want to tackle the entire room, we're there for it. That includes the basement and garage, uh, closets, pantry, kitchen, everywhere. <laughs> Those spaces where all we just put spaces. clutter and forget about it. Yes, yes, all the overwhelming spaces. And everybody has their space where that can happen. And sometimes it's a little too overwhelming mm -hmm. for an individual and they can call us and we just come in and we personalize it to what you need. It's not about how we want it to be organized and decluttered. It's about what you want. It's about bringing joy back into your space and finding that potential, that creative energy that allows you to flow and enjoy your life. I absolutely love that. I just, it's just so much. I love it so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I believe it wholeheartedly. This is, this is at the forefront of what we want for our clients. This is our passion. It should be joyful coming home. You should feel relaxed and not stressed whenever you walk into your home. Yes. And you're there to help kind of alleviate some of that by helping with the clutter. Yes. Awesome. I love that. What drives you to do what you do? There's just something inside me that wants to help people create new potential spaces. It's, it's, it's something that we can see. Uh, all of the organizers, it's that little niche that we see what you want to happen. It's like, it's just a skill that we have that when you go into an area and somebody says, I want the clutter to be taken out. I want to be able to use the space for X, Y, Z. You know, we see it, we see where we can go with it. And it all comes from creating space, from removing the things that haven't been serving you in order to see what is actually there and then being able to play with the space now, move things around, including furniture. I mean, I'm pretty buff. <laughs> You're like, who needs a workout? I move furniture. Yes, I am pretty buff. It is a workout, you know? And that's another aspect of it is having somebody else with you while you organize motivates you. You have a partner to help move and be able to really do it, you know, mm -hmm. all the way, not halfway, but all the way going for the full five hour session because so much can get done in that five hours in order to be able to see the new magic of the space. Like it went from being this overwhelming, stressful mess to being possibly your new hobby, to being with your family, to having quality time, you know, to, to making memories. <laughs> and we don't go into spaces that overwhelm us, we avoid them. That's very true. And so then we, sometimes it's so sad to, to avoid these areas in the home where there could, there could be so much joy. There could be so many memories created there where we don't need a vacation. We have it in our homes, in our daily lives, that we come home and we feel the sacred space relaxing us yes. compared to overwhelming us. Have you heard of, um, and I'm going to mispronounce this, but it's kind of a trend that's going on as like, Huga or Heidi oh, yes. or do you, yes. do you know how to pronounce that word? I think, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's Huga. <laughs> I read it as Huga, right? It's where you are like, it's for winter, right? Is that for, I, thought I it think was it's for, for all year around, but oh, okay. it's, okay. um, it started what in like Norway or something like that. Like it's the okay. Norway style of living. Oh yes. You're um, right. You're right. It's you guys clean. can look this up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's clean, minimalistic, loving. Well, it's soft. very much kind of like what you're talking yes. about, right? It's like finding those little things that bring you joy within a day. So whether it's like a cozy blanket or, oh, you know, yes, having a space yes. that you can walk by that makes you happy in your home. It's just those little things that kind of bring out joy in your day so that you don't feel like this overwhelming sense of 
responsibility all the time, which I feel like a lot of us as adults feel. <laughs> mm, that's so true. And I love how you talk about the cozy blanket because it's like when we make the space in order to highlight the blanket, then it makes us smile. Mm -hmm. And it's like however many times you smile and laugh during the day, it brings you that happiness. It also brings you gratitude. Gratitude yes. brings you happiness. Being able to be grateful for that beautiful blanket that's, you know, um, cascading <laughs> <laughs> over the couch. You're like, mm, you know, that's so great. To be able to have even one space like that and move around your home and do that everywhere. Mm -hmm. Being able to pull out what has been stressing you out, all of it, just pulling it all out and just keeping the things that we love so much. Then when we look around, all around us, we see joy. Yeah. I mean, just talking about it, it's making me happy already. So. <laughs> It makes me happy and you're gonna have to come to my house now. <laughs> so what would you say has been maybe one of the most fun projects that you've ever done? Oh my goodness. I have so much fun all the time with all the projects. I, I think it's mostly the people for yeah. me. I the spaces are lovely. I love to do playrooms because I am a former teacher. So okay. any playroom challenge <laughs> is so fun to me. I love to go through all the toys, find the quality toys find the toys that the kids are actually using and get rid of all the rest. You know, I, I love basements. They're my favorite. Uh, and I love to be in basements with people because it's a super stressful area for people. They find it to be ugly, mm -hmm. lowly, you know, dark in basements, and they just don't want to be down there. That's the area that they avoid the most. Yep. And I like to brighten it up and make it a place of fun that you can go down there and you can get exactly what you need and it's exciting to be able to store all of your extra items in a place where you you see it all in one place and it's all accessible but you don't have to see it upstairs mm -hmm. so that brings me so much joy and happiness with all my clients yeah i mean i've made so many friends from, from clients i just think back to all my fun times of laughing in closets and <laughs> being really silly you know and just having a great time because when you're working hard and you're working towards something so positive it's a buzz yeah it's it's such a buzzy feeling it brings all of us organizers so much joy it's a very i keep saying joy but it's really such a fun and joyful job it's the best way to describe it <laughs> yeah it really is like to be able to take and like and to do that for someone yeah is such a gift it's such a gift to me that I'm able to do this for people and it be so positive and uplifting and done in such a short amount of time. Yeah. And I love to prove that to clients too, because clients always say to me, I don't know if you're going to be able to do this. <laughs> this is like, this is kind of crazy. Everything's out now. What did I get myself into? Because, you know, when you're pulling out all the things to go through them, mm -hmm. the entire floor is taken up for right. a while. You got to make a mess in order to yes. get it all organized. So. Yes, and, and, and it's about letting go and trusting the professionals. Mm -hmm. Trust. It's like getting a massage. You trust your massage therapist to do it well, to do the work, allow you to relax and just go with the flow yeah. of it and enjoy the process. And at the end, you, you have a newly organized and decluttered space that, you know, now you can do something new with. And it's just so wonderful. And it's about letting go of the control a little bit and just allowing it to flow. Yeah. A allowing the energy. So to that flow. you can have that new space. Yeah. So you can yeah. have the you new gotta space. Let go of the old. Taking, gotta let go of the old, kind of let go, you know, let go of the reins a little bit. Although we do not tell people to get rid of anything. I'm just going to put that out there right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that because this, you know, it, a treasure to one person is trash to another is treasure again. You know, we don't, we don't judge what somebody's treasure is, sure. you know? So what we want is we just want to highlight your treasures and get rid of the rest and give it to somebody else who will find it to be a treasure. Well, like you said earlier, the things that aren't serving you. So you yes. have to make those decisions. Yes. You're not there to tell them. They have to make those decisions on their own. Yes. What would you say to somebody who might be nervous about contacting an organizing company because they're embarrassed about the mess or the, the clutter that they have? Yes, that is a very great question. I would say we've seen it all <laughs> and we love it all and we love the challenge. We love to see those new spaces 
and we love to see happy clients and we want to help. We're here. This is, this is the passion. So no matter how scared you are to hire us, just know we want to be there. We want to be there. We want to help you. We want to get you to a spot. We want you to reach that mountaintop <laughs> spot. You know, you're almost there. You're feeling so scared and overwhelmed about it. Well, just go for it. Just go for it and hire an organizer because we know what we're doing mm -hmm. and we want to be here for you and do it. Yep. And there will be so much progress made. It's not just in that one area either. It's, it's a style of being able to look at a space and decide, separate it, separate the things that don't serve you, you, you and being able to take it out. It's, there's a method, there's a system to it. So just by being with an organizer, it's very inspiring. And you're able to see that method in place, in person, so that you can go further in other areas of the home. Right. You know, this is definitely a method that everybody can pick up on and learn. Yeah. And be able to continue on to maintain your home in such a way. So it's almost like bringing you in and getting taught the skills needed in order to move it further into yes. your home. And one of the things that I was kind of picking up as Kelly was talking is the bigger the project, the more room there is for joy, yes. right? To bring oh, your client Casey. joy. Yes. <laughs> you, we are so in sync here. <laughs> Yes, it's so true. So what is the number one tip that you would give somebody if they are looking to organize their space? Okay. Outside of yes. calling you, of course. Yes, outside of <laughs> calling us, because that's the best deal ever. So I would say it would be to take a laundry basket. This is the classic tip, but it's a great one. It's my favorite. Take a laundry basket into a space, okay, such as the living room, the kitchen, bedroom area and you're going to take out everything that just is kind of eh in your world, okay? It's like a leftover deal, it's not your favorite. Just put it into the laundry basket and then you take that out of the space and see the difference, okay? First of all, you see and feel different about it. You know that it doesn't need to be there anymore. I'm thinking of like the dresser in the bedroom full of pens and receipts and money. <laughs> Wait. Medicine. I, what? That's not yeah, just in medicine, my house. Makeup, right? <laughs> it's all on this dresser. But all you actually want on the dresser is your jewelry display, possibly some perfume, something nice for you, a picture of you and your mom or something sweet. You don't need all this other stuff there. Well, where does it go? First, take it, put it in something that like a container, okay? And take it away from the space and then you can clean and you can work on that space, right? What do you do with all the extra things that are in this basket? That's the big deal. So you pulled it out. Well, now it's in this basket. That's a dangerous zone to be in yes. because that might get now shoved into the basement, right? <laughs> right. To be exactly what I was thought thinking. of later, right? I'd be like, I'll just put that in the basement with all the other little laundry baskets. I've done this before. Yeah, yeah. So. From there, um, one more step to do from the laundry basket, throwing it all in, is having small containers. Those containers are for the pens, the pencils, the erasers, the staplers, the office stuff, the batteries, the light bulbs. The <laughs> everything you would throw in your junk drawer. <laughs> everything you would throw in your, your junk drawer. And it's great to have a junk drawer, but it overflows mm -hmm. eventually out of the junk drawer. What do you do? Now it's on the dresser. Now it's on the counter. Now it's, it's all over the house. It's on the stairs. It's all the little things, right? And they're not the fun things that bring you joy because it's not just joy, right? It's use, right? Right. It's like, I use this, this serves a purpose in my life. So where do those things go? Well, they can go in a number of places, but first it needs a container. It doesn't have to necessarily have some concrete landing spot, but if you have small shoebox containers where you can separate out all the boring stuff, you know, not just the pretty blanket <laughs> on the couch, it's the batteries. Batteries end up everywhere, right? Yep. So having a bin of just batteries, it's something you, you can label it with the tape and a marker and it's like batteries. Right. And then where do you put those things? Well, that usually ends up in a storage area. Mm -hmm. Right. So those are, that's like, that's the big tip. The so, big tip is pull everything out that you do not want 
on the dresser, on the counter, on the stairs, wherever. Now you have a bunch of miscellaneous. What do you do? Now we can separate those things. As we go, we declutter mm -hmm. and you can store those into containers until you decide where those things can go. They can go in the storage area. You can just stack them up, get a shelf for them. Eventually you can think, oh, I don't need this many pins. And you can go into your container and you can say, I, I need half of these. And these pins fit in this drawer over here. But there's that transitional step. And that's what really overwhelms people. And that's where the bags come in. It's like bags of stuff. There's <laughs> like bags the of stuff, bags trash, trash bags of stuff, all those little bags. That's, that's the miscellaneous. And that's what really overwhelms people. So go ahead and buy yourself 30. I'm just going to throw it out there. <laughs> 30 containers that you can throw miscellaneous into. And that's something you can work with. And if you guys follow Kelly on Facebook or Instagram, she actually had a post a couple of days ago, Dollar Tree was having a good sale, Marshalls was having a good yes. sale on storage stuff. Yes. So um, you don't have to be on top of that. Kelly's on top of it for you. Just follow her. Yes, we are looking <laughs> for those containers for you because sometimes they can be a little expensive. You don't have to shop at the container store. The container store is awesome and lovely but they are competing with all the big companies with these organizers because this is hip lately to oh, yeah. get organized, right? So there is, you know, 101 different containers you can buy. <laughs> there are, and that's overwhelming that's in itself. That's a little itself. overwhelming <laughs> which, which, which container, one Kelly? I <laughs> which container, yes. So what is one of your favorite things about operating your business in O'Fallon? Yes, I love serving the O'Fallon uh, area, St. Charles, um, the whole St. We serve the whole St. Louis area and beyond. I love O'Fallon, though. We have a lot of clients out here. Do you? Yes, yes. This is a great area, and I was born and raised in St. Louis, and so you know it has been fabulous being able to travel all around and being able to see the new communities popping up everywhere. Oh, gosh, so many. Yes, so <laughs> many new communities popping up in O'Fallon. It's just a great area. Which actually, I'm going to take a yes. second and I'm going to bring some a special guest in really quick. <laughs> Two, special, Two guests, special guests, actually. <laughs> Chris, if you would like to come on over. <laughs> so guys, I want to give a special shout out. This is Chris uh, Heffernan with uh, Fisher Homes. He has allowed us to use the Avery today, which is their five level. Um, you can see it in Inverness. But if you are looking to build your home here in O'Fallon or anywhere in the St. Louis area, Chris is going to be your guy. So give him a call. I'll have his number at the bottom of the screen. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Kelly, for doing this with me today. Thank you so much for having me, Casey. Of course. If you guys want to get a hold of Kelly for any of your organizing needs, you can reach her at organizingbykelly.com. We also are on Facebook and Instagram and Google. And then I'm Casey Jernigan with Delphine Realty Group. Thank you so much for tuning in to Keeping It Local. You can contact me for all of your real estate needs, or if you want to get a hold of Kelly, you can contact me and I will give you her information. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Bye.